ice cream mixes are uh, standardized and blended with ingredients prior to pasteurization. So we'll begin in the beginning where raw milk comes in from the Penn State dairy farms. We add separated cream at about 40% milk fat and we, then we transfer this mix over to batching tanks and at this point dry ingredients such as sugar and cocoa powder, milk powder and other ingredients, uh, stabilizers, are then mixed in and then once that has a chance to become thoroughly hydrated and dissolved into the mixture, it is pumped over into the pasteurizer, the pasteurizing system. Here the mixes are heated up to a temperature of at least 175 degrees Fahrenheit, held at about 25 degree, uh, 100, 175 degrees, and then transferred over to mix aging tanks where it is cooled down to a temperature of, of about 36 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point, the mixes are ready for blending with flavors to make individual types of ice cream uh, desserts. Number one seller uh, throughout the United States and here at Penn State is vanilla. And we take a certain amount of mix over to a flavor tank, portion in a certain quantity of vanilla, usually in a range of about 4.5 ounces for every 10 gallons. And then from there, the vanilla flavored ice cream is pumped over into um, ammonia frozen ice cream freezers. These are continuous devices that freeze ice cream uh, from uh, about a, at a rate of about 250 gallons per hour for each freezer and we have two of them. The ice cream mix enters into the freezer at about 36 degrees Fahrenheit and in a few minutes it's discharged at a temperature of about 21 degrees Fahrenheit. It has the consistency at this point of a soft serve cone. Next it follows through the machinery and is placed into a three gallon tub or half gallons, also in quarts, pints, and Dixie cups. It is still a semi-frozen mixture. It is then cased off and sent into our hardening room. After 24 hours in the hardening room, the temperature of the ice cream is rock solid. It's about zero degrees Fahrenheit. And then it is transferred over into storage. Here, as long as the storage conditions are appropriate and there's been no issues or problems, the ice cream can stay in that condition for up to six months. But creamery ice cream only lasts about a few days because it is, it is frozen and then consumed very rapidly by the students on the campus. Mm -hmm.